Hey boys and girls, it is time for a tip. This tip is called caffeinating your fly. This is something that I do and learned about over time every spring when spring is full blown and going. So this is a tip called caffeinating your fly, like I said, and it is for fly fishing for bass, sand bass, stripers, hybrids, and, and more of the gamey fish that we have that we can target. It also is a, a good way to prospect um, caffeinating your fly. And it's something I've learned over the years, going back and forth. Um, sometimes I'll prospect with conventional. I'm kind of, kind of stepping away from that and limiting myself totally to fly. And here's what you do. You gotta caffeinate your fly. So it doesn't, it's not nearly as hard as it sounds. We're gonna go inside and get out of this rain and uh, come along with me and we'll talk about caffeinating your fly on May 1st. Expect the first full-blown Texas fly fishing report. I'll roll that out and publish that on YouTube on May 1st, Saturday. All right, guys, let's go inside. All right, guys, for better or worse, for messier or cleaner, we're at my fly tying table. And what I want to do is tell you three quick ways during the spring, peak of spring, during the most active fish time, not fishing, but fish time, we're going by fish time, what you can do to help improve your chances of catching bass and other faster moving game fish on fly. There's three different things I've come up with and they are uh, not that uh, unusual or undoable. You can do them pretty easily. Finn, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Come over here and say hi. Come over here, come over here. There's Fanny coming, oh Fanny coming, come good boy. There's <laughs> Okay, man, okay, okay, you can go now. You can go, you can go. Go on, go on, go see mama, go on. So, there's three things you can do that I've thought of, there's probably even more. But one of them is um, varying the speed at which you retrieve. In other words, caffeinating your fly means giving it the juice, giving it the gas. So you're pulling it through, two th it does two different things actually. Pulls it through the strike zone at a speed that the fish think it's like viable because bait fish is not gonna be lollygagging around in the spring waiting to be eaten. It's gonna be moving fast just like the bass move fast or stripers, hybrids, whatever faster moving uh, game fish you're after. So pick up your speed and vary your speed on your strip. That's number one, vary the speed of, at which you strip your line in. So that's one. Number two is you can change your knot to a, and I would and I always do when I'm going after something that's not carp, into a loop knot. And the loop knot, as you can see, will add a whole lot of action to the fly. So not only will your strips be faster, when you pause, it really it really does a little jig, jiggle little thing there at the end that is very enticing. So go go to a loop knot, find yourself a loop knot you like that's, that's powerful, has good strength to it. Go to the loop knot. This is, this is starting spring here, you know, like I just said, May. I don't know why it's that way, but it's, it's May this year. It's probably June next year with global whatever. But anyway, that's two. And number three, this is a little more unique. Inside of this Mylar tubing is a rattle. So you can tie a rattle into any flies, bait fish patterns that you have. And if you do it properly, that rattle, that noise will attract more fish too. So those are three things real quick down and dirty that you can do to catch more game fish like largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, and the other bass, sand bass, and, and, uh, and stripers and things like that on a fly during the height of the season in spring. Thanks for watching guys and be sure you like and subscribe to the video and we'll see you out there in the water. It's getting good.